welcome back. Let's get straight to this week's Player of the Week. With me, Jared Chester. Eldorado quarterback Jace Jackson had a standout performance in last week's 42-3 victory over district rival LaQuaver. Jackson finished the game with five total touchdowns, with two on the ground, and three with his arm. Like this 80-yard link up to David Inman. Jackson had 291 yards passing and 90 yards rushing on the stat sheets at the end of this game improving his team to 1-0 in district play and 6-1 overall. So there you have it. Jace Jackson, this week's Player of the Week. Thanks, Jared. There are three high schools in Valencia County, two sharing the field tonight. Belen Eagles sitting on top of District 3-5A in a three-way tie and hosting the Valencia Jaguars. Eagles up 28-6 in the third. And Eagles quarterback Thomas Wisniewski, the keeper, and running towards the near sidelines and right into your living room for the first down. Moving the chains, Dennis Wisniewski dumping the ball off to Aiden Contreras and he makes a defender miss and he's on his way in for six, made it 35 to six home team. Jaguars looking and trying to get something going after that. Albert Sanchez gets the ball, knocked away. Oh! Eagles recover, then Eagles inside the red zone. Mateo Romero, give him the ball. He plows his way in for the score. Eagles going to win it. 49 to 6. We're playing Las Lunas, man. We're playing those Las Lunas, and we're going to look forward to heck to that game. And that Las Lunas game is going to be the biggest game of our lives, and we're going to play like that. <laughs> Coach John Lerner already calling out the Tigers. When that guy talks, man, you feel like you could take on the world, right? It was a light night for high school football in the state last night. And just in case you missed it, Jared Chester is here with the Thursday Rewind. Jared. Thanks, Vanny. Yep, there was only one game going on locally as defending District 5. Class 6A champs the Trisco Heritage took on the Valley Vikings. Let's hit the rewind button as we take a look at last night. Thursday Rewind, brought to you by your New Mexico Ford dealers. Trisco looking to stay undefeated in district play as the Vikings look for their first win in that department. Valley down 7-0 early, but Seagun Uyuku changes that. Popping like Orville Redbacher off tackles. In for the score, tying this game at 7. Valley still hungry, looking for a snap and three-game losing streak, but later fourth and long. And, yep, Jordan Mean Bean is back to receive. And just watch this dude uh, work. The kid is returning. Maniac showing the agility, making cuts. Adds in the stiff arm at the end for good measure. 60 yards to the point box. But it would end up having to be called back for a block in the back. Still what a play from this kid. And yep, later in the drive, though, kid shows he still got it. Bean gets his name called again and shows off the footwork from 10 yards out into the end zone. Trisco wins it 42-33. Better into 2-0 in district play. And as for the Vikings, they fall to 0-2. In that district, here's some other scores from around the state. The Bulldogs have lost Cruz's steamrolled over Gadsden last night, bettering to 2-0 in District 3 Class 6A. 56-6 the final, and the Chargers also win big against Santa Fe Indy at 42-0 the final of that game. And that'll do it for this week's Thursday Night Rewind. Let's get back to the DeLorean and go 1.21 gigawatts back to the future as Van Tate still has more. Van. Let me guess, your favorite movie when you're growing up. <laughs> uh, yes, back yes. Back to the future. <laughs> Well, two teams searching for their first District 3-5A win, Santa Teresa and Los Lunas. A season hasn't been kind to either team. Eight weeks in, and they start with only three victories between them. Tigers coming out. And Santa Teresa with the ball. Robin Johnny Juarez passing, and Trevor Brohan says, I'll take that. He plays for Los Lunas. That would be the interception. Next play, Anthony Sanchez. Looking down and seeing Omari Samuels, and you know every time Omari Samuels gets the ball, as he knocks one guy down on his way into the end zone, he does that. He scores. Another six for Los Lunas coming up. Sanchez and Samuels, they decide to hook up again. This time, look at the cut inside, and then bounces it back to the outside, and he's in the house. 56 to 16, Los Lunas getting the victory. On the high school scoreboard, St. Pius still rolling. The Sardins, we like to call them the X-Men, undefeated. Gateway Christian knocked off by Melrose. Mescalera, uh, Mel, uh, Mescalera Apache, that is, beating Cloudcroft. 56 to 14 is the final there. No word yet on Hagerman Jow. Timeout is called. We're heading into the final stretch. And Socorro, Socorro, man, I'm sounding like Sylvester. The Warriors had one battle before they even stepped on the field. We'll explain first the Cleveland drum line. 
playing us to a break once again.